Now, if you spend any time browsing Amazon KDP, especially the coloring book categories, you'll see that Bible coloring books consistently show up year after year. They're not trendy, they're not loud, but they continue to sell because they serve a very specific purpose. They're used by families, by churches, by parents and kids learning scripture together, and by adults who want something reflective and calming. Now here's where most people get stuck. They like the idea of creating a Bible coloring book, but they don't know how to draw. They don't have the budget to hire an illustrator, and they assume that creating something meaningful like this requires artistic skill that they don't have. So if you clicked on this video, you're in the right place because today I'm gonna to show you how AI can be used responsibly and thoughtfully to create Bible coloring pages that are clean, consistent, and respectful without needing to draw anything by hand or spend a lot up front. I'll walk you through examples of Bible coloring books that are doing well on Amazon, and then I'll show you how you can start creating your own using a simple, repeatable process. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Jeff, and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. So if this sounds like you, feel free to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some examples of Bible coloring books people really love on Amazon. This one right here is titled Bible Verse Coloring Book for Girls. So this one's going to be a coloring book that incorporates Bible verses and is directed towards girls. And if we look at the interior, you can see very simple, very plain. There's a pattern here and then the Bible verse is right in the middle. Now one thing to remember is that when you're working with Bible verses to make sure that the Bible verse is correct. You don't want anything that is incorrect going onto these coloring pages because probably the most important thing is the verse itself. So as you can see the verse right here and then some more on the back cover. So different types of fonts, different types of patterns, but all in all, a very thoughtful, a very simple, and a very well-received Bible coloring book. Now, if we take a look at the numbers of this book, this has a bestsellers rank of 6,199. So the 30-day royalties is estimated anywhere from 800 to over $1,300 per month from Titan's Quick View. And if we look at the title, we can see that it has over 35 beautiful designs and it's aged for girls nine to 14 years old. Total, the book only has 75 pages. That's not a lot of pages actually. And it's priced at $7.72 which I would say is on the lower end of coloring book prices. I would lean towards pricing coloring books around $9.99. Now here's another Bible coloring book, a little bit different design. This is the square format, more of that bold and easy type, but this one also directed towards girls. And as you can see, a little bit different look on the inside, more simple, more bold lines, and the Bible verse right there. So very simple. If you know anything about bold and easy coloring books, well, this is gonna be right up your alley. And then some more of the interiors on the back cover with those Bible verses. And then a corresponding illustration that fits the Bible verse. I would say that is the second most important thing with these coloring pages is to make sure that the illustration fits the actual verse. But as you can see, very, very good, very thoughtful designs. This is a well-received book. And looking at the bestsellers rank, we can see 134,000 BSR. It was just recently published. So 30-day royalties around $100 to $200 per month. This one is priced at $9.99 and has 45 illustrations, making about 92 pages overall. So all of these, I would say, is the standard type of things that I see with coloring books, about 40 to 50 pages, about 100 pages overall, priced at $9.99. And with the A plus content here, we can see a little bit more of the interior. So here's one that is fully colored in some more interiors here. Now here's another example, a Bible verse coloring book for kids. Now this one looks more of a general type for kids. And then the first page this coloring book belongs to is also turned into a coloring page. Now here is one of the interiors. As you can see, the Bible verse right there, and then the corresponding illustration, very nice. And then some more of the 
interiors on the back cover. So there are the Bible verses, Bible verse, Bible verse. Now, the thing that I notice about this book is that it doesn't seem to keep with the same style or the same theme. We have different fonts in different areas here. And so if you're going to ask me, this looks like it was made by AI but with a few different AI tools because the themes aren't the same. And so when you're creating a Bible verse coloring book, you kind of want to create a book that is cohesive, keeps with the same theme, keeps with the same style, just to keep it put all together, something that is respectful, something that is intentional, and something that doesn't look like that it was put together using different tools or different illustrators. However, this book does have a decent bestsellers rank at 190,000. So that is good for 30 day royalties estimated about 100 to 150 dollars per month. Now this book did just recently come out so there aren't any reviews so far so I'd be interested to see the reviews in a couple of weeks but this book 61 pages so only 30 coloring pages not that much I would suggest to add more to be around 40 to 50 coloring pages price at nine dollars and 99 cents. Now, when we go ahead and take a look at this niche, the Bible verse coloring book for kids, we're going to see total results 1,307. So not very competitive here, even though this is a very popular type of book. Niche score from Titans Quick View 54 with the Titans Pro Analysis seeing demand is a five, opportunity is a nine. And going through the first page, we're going to see a lot of books that are very popular. This one, bestsellers rank 2,000. This one, 400,000, 81,000, and then onto the next row, 13,000. This one is 6,000, 142,000, and then some more on this row, 40,000. The book that we looked at, 134,000, 152,000. And if we just keep scrolling down, we're going to see books here that people really, really enjoy. And how do we know they enjoy it is because when we look at the ratings paired with the bestsellers rank, that's how we know that a book is doing very, very well and it's well received. And that's very important when you're creating a Bible verse coloring book because it's all about your intention. You don't want to cut corners and you want to make sure that the coloring pages that you put into these books are going to be ones that you can be proud of. Here's one right here ranked at 11,000 and another one right here ranked at 33,000. So a lot of different ways to create Bible coloring books. You can go with the bold and easy type. You can go directed towards boys, towards girls. Now these Bible coloring books aren't selling because they're flashy. They're selling because they're intentional. These books that perform well tend to have clean, readable layouts, thoughtfully chosen verses and artwork that supports the message instead of overpowering it. And that's an important distinction. Creating a Bible coloring book isn't about stuffing as many pages as possible into a PDF. It's about slowing down and asking a simple question. How do I make something people will actually enjoy spending time with? And that's where a lot of beginners hesitate. They assume this requires artistic skill, illustration, experience, or large upfront cost, but it doesn't have to. What's changed over the last couple of years is how accessible the creation process has become. AI can now help you generate clean, consistent coloring pages that respect the content and keep the focus on the verse itself. The key is using AI as a tool, not as a shortcut. Now, creating these Bible verse coloring pages doesn't have to be overly difficult. Here, I'm using ChatGPT, more specifically ChatGPT 5.2. I am paying for the plus version, which in this case just basically gives me a higher limit on the amount of generations for images that I can produce per day. But you can go ahead and try this out with the free version of ChatGPT. And as you can see down here, I do have a prompt. Now, the one thing that this does require is a very intentional and a very well engineered prompt. And if we read this prompt, we can read right here, a dove flying with an olive branch over the ark. And then here's the verse, the dove returned to him in the evening and there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf from Genesis 8, 11. And after that, this part right here is really what is going to create the style of the image, black and white line art. And then the image should match the Bible verse visually in an uplifting, child-friendly, or serene style. Write out the Bible verse using decorative line art lettering made for coloring. Skip any use of shading gradients or color. 
leave the background uncluttered and neat, prioritize bold outlines, no AI watermark, and keep the aspect ratio square. Now, as you can see, this is the image that ChatGPT created. If we take a look at it, here is the dove over Noah's Ark, and then the Bible verse right here that is turned into a coloring element. So that's one great thing about AI is that it can now do these kinds of things. But as you can see, very thoughtful image. The illustration matches the verse and the verse is correct. And so here's another prompt from a different story. This one is Jesus walking with two disciples. And if we look at it, we can see right here, it turned out very, very well. Once again, very thoughtful, very intentional. Here is the Bible verse, same style, same type of theme, just a different illustration. So these are the type of coloring pages that you should aim for. Another one right here from another story, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Matthew 6, 10. And as you can see, very similar style, same type of theme, different illustration, but as you can see, very thoughtful, very intentional. And it looks like something that you can be proud of putting into your coloring book. So I tried a few other prompts here from a few other stories. This one is peace I leave you, my peace I give you. And you can see just how it came out right here. Same type of theme same style different illustration so this keeps it a very cohesive type of book and then one more here chat dbt actually made two versions although the one on the right isn't spelled correctly so i went with the one on the left do not steal do not lie do not deceive one another from leviticus 1911 and then here are truth blocks with a boy and a girl building it and then one more for a good measure here this is the last supper take eat this is my body matthew 26 26 once again very intentional very thoughtful keeps with the same style same theme different illustration that fits the bible verse and so from here all that's needed to do is to go ahead and save these and i do that by right clicking and saving the image and then i'm going to use canva which is a design platform that i can actually put these images together to create a PDF to be able to upload onto Amazon KDP. Now this book, since it's the square format, I'm gonna keep in line with that. I'm gonna make an 8.5 by 8.5 inch project and then create the new design. And to keep this tutorial short, this is what it should look like. So the first page, I typically create a book belongs to page. And this one's very easy to do. You can pick any font that you want and in order to turn it into a coloring element you can just hit effects here and then choose outline now when you choose outline make sure you choose black and then go back into here and make sure you choose a text color white and then that's how you're going to get this effect and you can change the thickness as you can see right there what i'm doing and then i just added a line on the bottom very simple to do now the next page is typically a blank page for bleed through purposes so think about when they're coloring this in, it's gonna bleed through to the back side. You don't want another coloring page there. It's just not gonna look that great. And so the next page, typically on the right side of the page or every odd page is going to be your coloring image. And so here's the first one. That's all you do is you just put it on here. You can enlarge it, center it. Now there is a template here that you can download from my Gumroad shop to go ahead and make sure that you're within margins so that your image doesn't get cut off. You can go ahead and check that out. But if you leave plenty of room, you're not really gonna have to worry about that, just like this one. And then a blank page for bleed through purposes. Once again, another image that was generated by ChatGPT. Just put it right there, blank page, and just so on and so forth. That is kind of the pattern here. And once you start generating more and more images with ChatGPT, just make sure that the verses are correct. Make sure the illustration matches the verse. You can always regenerate. You can always try different ones. But as you can see, this is the way to kind of put your book together and you should do 40 to 50 images, which equates to about 100 pages. And once you have your book complete, you can just hit share here, download, make sure it's PDF print, and go ahead and choose all pages, make sure all pages, and then CMYK if you're paying for Canva Pro, but if it's just the free version of Canva, totally fine to use RGB, and just hit download. Now, like I said, the most important thing 
are the prompts and I didn't engineer these prompts myself. I did get them from this prompt list right here. This is a prompt list of 307 prompts, all from different stories of the Bible. As you can see, I'm slowly going through it so you can take a look at all these prompts. So there's gonna be a lot of themes here, a lot of stories, a lot of illustrations that you can go ahead and generate just by copying these prompts and pasting it into ChatGPT. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these prompts were made specifically for ChatGPT. And if you want to check out these prompts for yourself, I'll leave the link down below. Just keep in mind, it is a paid product, but as you can see, the type of results that it can produce and the amount of prompts that you're provided, it's well worth the investment if you choose to go ahead and start creating your own Bible coloring book. So at the end of the day, Bible coloring books work because they provide something people genuinely value. They're not impulse buys. They're not novelty products. They're tools for learning, reflection, and connection. And with the way AI has evolved, creating these books no longer requires artistic talent or a big budget. What matters more is intention, clarity, and care. Choosing the right verses, presenting them cleanly, and creating pages that people actually enjoy using. If you're still early in your KDP journey and you want a clear roadmap for getting started, I've linked my KDP royalty roadmap down below. It's free and it'll walk you through the fundamentals of creating and publishing low and medium content books on Amazon KDP. If this video helps you see what's possible, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. With that being said, thanks for watching. Bye for now.